News 46 is brought to you in part by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino, located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160 in the heart of Pahrump. You can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500, or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. News 46 is also brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, specializing in comprehensive accident rehabilitation. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Pahrump's number one media source for local news, weather, and sports. Good evening, it's Friday, February 11th, 2011. I'm Rick Vale for News 46. Topping our news this evening, a bank robber is still on the loose after robbing the U.S. Bank in Smith's today at approximately 10 a.m. Deanna O'Donnell has more. I'm here in the Smith's parking lot where approximately 10.30 this morning, the U.S. Bank inside this store was robbed. We are being told that there was no weapon brandished. However, Nye County Sheriff's deputies, detectives, and the FBI is on the way. They're all looking for a suspect. We're going to give you that description right now. He is described as an older gentleman, 5'6", medium build. He has reddish hair, balding. He's wearing a baseball cap that has Route 66 on it. He's wearing a gray fleece jacket white t-shirt and blue jeans or blue jean shorts. If you have information, you're urged to call the Nye County Sheriff's Department at 751-7000. We're being told that we might possibly get the video later on, but keep on the lookout for this suspect. And also as well, he may have a small envelope type Walmart money bag with him is what he used in this robbery. This is Deanna O'Donnell at Smith's U.S. Bank for News 46. And a two-vehicle accident at Honeysuckle and Dandelion resulted in one person being transported for their injuries. News 46 has more. Around 6.30 last night, a two-vehicle accident occurred here at Honeysuckle and Dandelion. Knight County Sheriff's deputies arrived on scene along with Prump Valley Fire and Rescue. Nevada Highway Patrol, however, was also in the area and helped out on this scene. It appears that the van that is here is full of children. We're not sure if it's actually a bus or a transport van or a private van, but it collided with the pickup truck in a T-bone collision. Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue had to as well dispatch an engine and another paramedic unit on scene. There was three reported injuries. They also used the jaws of life to open up the slider door on the van. Nye County Sheriff's deputies also took the kids and place them in another vehicle to remain warm, the ones that were uninjured in this accident. And once again, Nye County Sheriff's deputies are investigating the cause of this accident. This is Deanna O'Donnell on Dandelion and Honeysuckle for News 46. And another accident occurred last night. This was also a two-vehicle accident, this time on Highway 160, which resulted in no injuries. A two-vehicle accident here at Basin and Highway 160 approximately 7 p.m. last night prompted Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue, Nevada Highway Patrol, and some detectives that happened to be in the area to the scene. All occupants of both vehicles were checked out on scene and released with no injuries reported. Nevada Highway Patrol is investigating the cause of this accident. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. All right, and as we head into our first break on this Friday evening, here's a word from our good friends at the Prompt Nugget. How you guys doing today? It's Jeff Ratchin from the Pahrump Nugget. Just letting you know what's going on this weekend. Hey, happy Valentine's Day to you. Let you know that we're giving away a free cooler bag to every Club Nugget member. All you got to do is just show your Club Nugget card at the Club Nugget on Valentine's Day and come get your cooler bag. Also, make your reservations now because we're celebrating Valentine's Day all weekend long. We've got great specials in Stockman Steakhouse all weekend. Come down, make your reservation, come in and enjoy. Remember, better to come into our house than be in the dog house. Also, we got some great stuff going on in bingo. We've got great bingo specials going away. Everybody in bingo on Valentine's Day is going to get a box of chocolate with lower buy-ins, higher payouts. Come on down and enjoy us. There's no other better place to be than at the Nugget. See you when you get here. Bye. News 46 is brought to you in part by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino, located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160 in the heart of Pahrump. You can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500, or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. 
News 46 is also sponsored by Affiliated Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, specializing in comprehensive accident rehabilitation. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Welcome back to News 46, continuing on our News 46 exclusive with Sharon and Anthony Broadhead. Sharon speaks to us about Crystal Smiley, who died tragically in the structure fire. Tell me about Crystal and her family. She's a real sweet, hard, kind-hearted person. And I can't believe that she's gone. How close a friend was she to you? She was, we had like a special bond. She was, she was not just a friend, she was more than a friend for me. She was always there for me. I always knew what to say. Um, she, How old is she? She's 26. How are they doing? Have you spoke to them? I, have, I haven't had, been around the phone at all. I haven't had any chance to contact anybody or anybody at all to talk to anybody. I'm like scared to leave my bedroom. Our thoughts and our prayers go out to Crystal's family. And from the bottom of my heart, I am truly deeply sorry for everything that has happened. There was reports that Crystal was on the phone on 911 up till the end and they could hear her. Why do you think she saw the fire and then went back into the room herself? I, I don't know, to be honest. I think because she followed me, because I went out, and then I ran back in. And then I started thinking, window. All I could think of was window. And then that's when I ripped, op when I r ripped open the window, because it wasn't locked. I guess it's like my summer window. I wait for the summer to come. So I, I opened it, and this thing I know I'm flying out of it. And then I run around the house screaming for help. For her two ends of the house, I end up screaming. I'm like, please help. And all the firemen could say was, they're trying their best. So much pain, um, not only the loss of your children, but the loss of your friend. Yes. We would like to thank the firemen and the police officer and anybody else involved who has been injured or anything, and thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you guys did. We were unable to save my boys, but we're here, and we're going to live from this. We are going to turn this and... We are going to be better people. I hope, I hope everybody learns and, again, be prepared. Find an escape route. Educate your kids. My kids were young, but they would have, they, they, they could have known, and they would have known. Be prepared. For those who would like to make a donation to the Broadhead family after the loss of their three children during the fatal blaze earlier in the week, you can go to Nevada State Bank. The account number is 0258041714, and the account name is Anthony Broadhead. Again, that number is 0258041714, and that is at Nevada State Bank under the name of Anthony Broadhead. Now, due to numerous calls concerning the fundraisers for the Broadhead family, News 46 decided to repeat the following story. Julie Hargis and Car Studio will be holding a fundraiser this weekend to benefit the Broadhead family. News 46 has more. Well, down here at Car Studio in front of the Prompt Nugget, this Saturday, February 12th, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., we're going to have a benefit car, car wash for the Anthony Broadhead family. And tell me what that consists of. 
Uh, we're going to ask people to come down and have their car washed and uh, make a donation to the family. We will be uh, donating our time and materials to do that. If someone doesn't have a car, they want to still help, they can drop off a donation. We'll be making sure that that gets to the account that's been set up. And if they'd like to come down and help wash cars, I think we're going to need a lot of help. So bring your old towels, come and dig in and help. I think it's going to be a great time for the community to be able to come out and help this family who suffered very deeply and uh, from this tragedy. It's just a, it's an awful event and it's really touched our hearts. Um, I talked to Terry, the owner, this morning, and he said, "Absolutely, let's do it." So uh, the uh, we're going to have a car club down here, so you can come down, look at some classic cars while you're down here having your car wash everybody wants to contribute just looks for the signs Danny high impact is printing us out some signs so come down here look for the signs you'll be able to find us I don't know what the family may need but if somebody feels like they have something they would like to donate if they want to drop it off here I'll make sure the family gets it too anything we can do to help this community does pull together and that's that's what we want to do we want to be part of it thank you so much Julie and for more information where can they call they can call me on my cell at 775-513-0960. And once again, what time? It is Saturday, this Feb February 12th, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And our blessings and best wishes uh, to, to the Broadhead family. And as we mentioned yesterday, Tamara Trudeau and Saida Trudeau Chrysler Jeep and, Jeep and Dodge are accepting clothing and monetary donations for the Broadhead family. Clothing sizes needed for the surviving family members are junior pants size 0 through 1, junior shirt sizes medium, shoe sizes 6 and a half, girls pants size 14, girls shirts size medium or large, ladies pants size 14, ladies shirt size extra large, ladies shoe size 8. All donations can be taken to Saida Trudeau, Chrysler Jeep and Dodge. For more information, you can contact Tamara Trudeau at 775-727-0102. Now, after the break, a lucky winner in the Valley gets free tickets to NASCAR. We'll have more news right after this break. Please keep it here. News 46 is brought to you in part by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino, located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160 in the heart of Pahrump. You can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500, or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. News 46 is also sponsored by Affiliated Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, specializing in comprehensive accident rehabilitation. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Welcome back to News 46. A lucky lady from Pahrump won NASCAR tickets this morning. News 46 reports from Career Connections. I'm here at Job Connect and I'm joined by Claudia Palacios. We had a drawing just now. What's that about? Um, we received two tickets from uh, a local employer partner with the Job Connect office, the Career Connection office. They asked us to have someone benefit from that. We decided the Nye Community Coalition Board of Directors and the Career Connection staff made the decision to have the drawing so one of the clients could benefit from these two tickets. Lucky. Who's the lucky person? Who is the lucky person? Number two. Nancy Alarcón. Oh. Oh. Yeah. These um, NASCAR tickets, yeah, uh, NASCAR. that's wonderful. NASCAR, yeah. Depends. Uh, um, most people like NASCAR. And um, this is for March 5th and March 6th race. And who won? Um, Nancy Alarcón. She's um, a local high school student that went on to Great Basin College and studied to be a certified nursing assistant and is working with a local employer, Evergreen Rehabilitation Center. And her and her girlfriend Miriam are on their way to college to become nurses. Wonderful. Congratulations once again, her. And more information about Job Connect. How can people find out about it? Um, actually, they can come by, fill out applications. We'll be more than happy to orient them to the resources that are available to them. And hopefully they can be successful in gaining employment or training. And thank you to the person who donated the tickets. 
um, they wanted to remain anonymous at this time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mount Charleston Elementary School held a special balloon release today for the Broadhead children that were lost in the recent fatal blaze. Dan O'Donnell reports. We're here at Mount Charleston Elementary where balloons were released today in honor of the three children, Brandon, age six, Zachary, age four, and Elliot, just one years old, who tragically died in the structure fire on Prospector on Wednesday. We're going to speak to Principal Tim Wambaker. Uh, with the loss of through the fire, um, it's a great way to have some closure, some some prayer, if you will, some positive thoughts, just some memories, and uh, the kids uh, use that balloon release to to just send the best to their classmate, their friend, and um, and the family. So it's a tough time. It's very tough time. Tell me how the school is handling it right now. So many kids are in pain. Yeah, uh, we, you know, we had the uh, Liz in fifth grade. It was her brother, and so that. That fifth grade group obviously is feeling uh, the effects of it, and the kindergarten class is a lot of the kids. Um, they understand it now. They've talked to the parents. They've talked with counselors uh, here at the school, and and they're understanding a little bit more. But death is never uh, an easy thing to deal with, and um, as a staff, as students, it brings back past feelings. It brings back you know my grandfather. It brings back my pets that that died. So. Um, it's all a culmination of things, and a lot of kids handle. I mean, everybody handles it differently. So, uh, this is a good way to to give some closure, if you will, but also send some positive thoughts and 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 best wishes to um, to them in the afterlife. I can say, uh, you never want to have a a ceremony like this um, for a student for um, any child. And obviously, this is a difficult time for the family. Um, also for the students in Mount Charleston, the staff in Mount Charleston, and uh, as I mentioned before, we've always been a very strong family, and, and this is uh, definitely a loss of, of our own. Dear Brandon, we're glad you were in our class. We came to love you so. We can't believe you're gone now. We're so sad you have to go. We will always remember you and the special things we did but most of all, we want to tell you that you were one very special kid. We love you. We miss you. Your friends in 15B. Some of the balloons, three of them, were white. Um, symbolizing the three kids, obviously, and is a, a terrible tragedy. And Prump and, and the schools have all, you know, there's fundraisers set up, there's all kinds of, the community comes together in a time like this, and, and Prump's always been very good with that. And I, I know that there's some accounts set up, uh, there's a um, First International account, there's a, a Nevada State Bank account, and, and that's for uh, the kids, and then um, the, the remaining family, the Broadhead family, I, there's an account that's being set up at Wells Fargo. So um, there's a lot of different ways, car washes this weekend, we have uh, next week several of the schools are doing a hat day uh, where they're donating a dollar to wear a hat, but all, that, all the proceeds go to the family to help them out. Uh, we have food drives, uh, toy drives, clothing drives, anything to help the family. And um, obviously, you know, again, it's a terrible tragedy, and and everybody's just trying to plug through. And speaking with uh, the father, Anthony Broadhead, he spoke and left it with his final word, talking about the use of a fire extinguisher and learning how to use them, practicing fire safety with your children. Is that some issues that have come up with the children here? A little bit. Right when we found out about the tragedy, I, I uh, wrote a letter to the parents and, and the students, and I, I, and I just said, you know, there's a tragedy, and um, at this time, be, be ready to talk as a family about fire exit, fire safety, um, but also talk about the loss of loved ones, be it animals or, or other family members, to, to give the students and the, the children somebody to talk to and that counselors were going to be on hand. That was a very touching story for a very tragic event. Folks, we're going to have a look at your weather coming up right after this short break. Please keep it here. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. 
Hey everyone, welcome back to News 46. I'm Rick Vale with your weather. Today we had a high of 62 degrees. Winds were coming out of the east northeast at about 8 miles per hour. Not too bad. Pressure holding steady 30.29. Sunrise was at 636 AM and our record high 78 degrees back in 1971. Now for tonight, it's going to be clear out there also with a low of 33 degrees. It's back up above freezing so you can rest at ease. There's no five piece of prompt for you tonight. It's going to be a Still cold, but not as cold as it could be. Winds out of the northeast to 6 miles per hour. Sunset 5, 21 p.m. And our record low 20 degrees back in 1972. Now moving on to our 7-day forecast. It's going to look great this weekend. Enjoy it. 70 degrees for our high on Saturday with 35 degrees for our low. And Sunday it's going to be 72 degrees for the high. Partly cloudy skies with 36 degrees for the low. Now Monday for Valentine's Day, all the sweeties out there heating up the valley. It's going to be 73 degrees. Take a look at it. Partly cloudy skies with a low of 41. Our hottest day of the last month or so. It's pretty impressive stuff. Now Tuesday, it's going to be very windy, probably about 15 miles per hour. And uh, it's going to be 70 degrees for a high with 37 degrees for the low. Now moving on to the next day here, Wednesday, it's going to be even windier. Winds up to 20 miles per hour. Please be very careful when you're outside then. High of 65, a low of 34. Thursday's looking pretty good too, a high of 56 with a low of 30, just below freezing. You're going to want to start watching out for the 5Ps those days. And just as a side note, we've got some rain coming up in uh, later on, like Saturday, probably a 60% chance. So. It might come early, so we got like a 10% chance of rain on Thursday and a 10% chance on Friday, which is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 54 and a low of 31. And Waves Hair Salon at the corner of Irene and Leslie is also collecting monetary donations for the Broadhead family and Smiley family. For more information, you can call 751-9990. Now, viewing and funeral arrangements have been made for the Broadhead children. The viewing will be Tuesday, February 15th at the Prump Family Mortuary, located at 5441 Vicki Ann Road from 6 to 8 p.m. For more information, you can call 727-4099. And funeral services will be held Wednesday, February 16th at noon at the Latter-day Saints Church, located at 5461 Mance. And a memorial service for Crystal Smiley will be held at the Pahrump Community Church on Friday, February 18th at 2 p.m. And that does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale, and from everyone up here on the Hill at KPVM, we wish you a safe evening, and we'll see you here again tomorrow night. Until then, good night, Prump.